everybody, it's me, O'Neal Gerald, and I have been getting a lot of requests uh, to do a certain song from Beyonce uh, that was performed at her Coachella performance. A lot of you have subscribed thanks to my transition breakdown. If you haven't seen it, go see that. And right now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be talking about Beyonce singing I Care. A lot of you wanted to know about the operatic slash classical sound that Beyonce was using for the intro to I Care. So I'm going to talk about her performance of the entire song because there's some things <laughs> for us to notice. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, so what we're hearing right now is probably one of the best pieces of information that we could get when we're going to be breaking down Beyonce's voice, and that is uh, her head voice. When we're hearing Beyonce sing on this uh, ooh, this open ooh vowel that she is singing on, we're able to hear really where Beyonce's tessitura is for her head voice. Basically, tessitura is where a singer sounds their best. And not just that, but where they sound their best when they're using their voice in full, healthy, tensionless, good technique mode. <laughs> and not just where they think they sound the best personally, but when their voice is used in its full technical capability, where their voice seems to blossom or where their voice seems to truly come into its, into its own. I was actually personally very surprised because I expected Beyonce's voice to be somewhat uh, thicker and darker and to blossom around a D5 to a G5. So on this first note that we're hearing Beyonce's D5, the onto the B flat four, we're hearing Beyonce's voice not blossom quite yet. A lot of it has also to do with the fact that um, she was a little bit more close on that starting vowel. Um, but I personally heard that, first of all, that her voice was much lighter than I thought it was, especially for her being, what, she's 36 now. I expected her voice to be a lot darker when she's singing in a pure head voice. But she's still very light for a mezzo-soprano, in my opinion. But she's still somewhat lighter in timbre. Like she's not like dark, dark, dark in her timbre, meaning that her sound isn't as thick as what I thought it would be. Okay, so for me, I'm hearing like she's not, she's definitely very light. And even when she's getting down into the F, you can hear that her voice is starting to dwindle because she's using her pure head voice. She's not mixing quite yet, but she does end up mixing when she goes a little bit further down in her voice. So we're gonna hear a beautiful A5 from Beyonce. And this A5 told me that this A5, that note, is Beyonce's money note. Like, I feel like that's probably like smack dab not smack dab in the middle, but probably on a little bit of the higher side of her tessitura. So I would say that Beyonce's tessitura for her head voice, the sweet spots where it really sounds amazing, probably starts at like E5 up to about a B flat 5. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another thing that you'll notice is that you'll see her take out her in-ear, meaning that she was probably having some technical issues. I could hear that in her vibrato, in, on that A5, it started out a little bit slower and then it went to her usual faster vibrato. To me that said that either she was nervous or that she was kind of in her head and kind of saying, oh gosh, something's not right, and that she kind of, uh, not lost control, but she was Mm, not fully in control for that one little point in time. It's not exactly an ooh, it's more of like an oh. But I loved the way that she approached this um, suspension. The it's very easy to go flat on that C sharp, um, especially when, and that's a very important note um, in terms of uh, fixing the chord. See? Great approach from her. And now we're getting into the start of I Care. Now, I Care is probably one of Beyonce's most like intense songs. I also think that I Care is very um, demanding in terms of accuracy and runs, but Beyonce does it like it's water. Watch. Told you, 
Eye Care uses a lot of vocal distortion. Now, if you want to know what vocal distortion is, it's basically squalls, growls, uh, raspiness, anything that's, uh, that accompany, any sounds that accompany the voice that are not the, um, the pure sound. It would be like the, the difference between a ah and a ah. I, I'm not really good at it. But yeah, right out the gate, Beyonce is growling. I told you how you hurt. And then on hurt, she has some rasp that she's introducing. Hurt me, baby. And then she also has a crescendo that she's doing. I'll tell you how you hurt me, baby. But you, and then you has, has a little bit more of a growl. And she's doing it with the runs, completely and utterly accurate. I wouldn't expect any less from Beyonce. Come on. Okay, you could hear it on the she don't care. Yeah, you could hear her that she was um huh yeah <laughs> she was on it. And Beyonce growls. We know this. Beyonce growls for her life, and she does it and uh, and her voice is adapted well to what she's wanted to do in terms of growling. Something else I'll say in terms of Beyonce's growls. Beyonce's growls are like on the cusp of being a squall. Uh, personally, I don't like too too much distortion. I think she's in a really good place for her growls. Absolutely. Did you see how she brought it back right there? Uh, but you immune to all my pain. Yeah. Love. She added a little bit of a, a pulse on that on that B4 right there. Absolutely. Uh, love. Absolutely, Beyonce. Sang. Yep, and now you hear uh, that growl in full effect on that D on that D five. Well, I well I care. I can't do it anyway. Yep, and you can hear that note again. Oh, okay. When she says "baby" in the in the recording, she usually goes into the "baby." She flips to her head voice, but um, I guess maybe it was a little meticulous, or she just wanted the extra power, so she didn't flip at all. Cool. Yeah. Okay, backtrack, backtrack a bit. I think that was an amazing sustained growl that she had on that D5. There was some vibrato and she stayed consistent with that, um, uh, with that growl. Right here. Yeah, okay. Now we're getting into the second verse. <laughs> we're getting into the second verse. I'm telling you, she sang for her life. Beyonce never really allows herself to let go too much. However, when she does let go in terms of her improvisation, she's like unstoppable. Let's let's break this down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cry. I think the thing that made that very interesting was that she held out the note instead of um, make me cry or whatever she did in the recording. It was much shorter. Um, so she decided to hold out. Cry or whatever she did. No, nope. what? And now uh, every. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it. Woo! Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Yeah. I don't think that's exactly what she did. But basically, what she's doing is she's singing the verse and then she's allowing herself to respond with some improvisations. And all of those improvisi improvisations are built on uh, the syncopation that is found in most of her entries. Uh, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. Da -da 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 -da. Like she's making all of her entries on the off beats. And not just the off beats, but the off, off beats on the second sixteenth of the beat. So she's. Woo! It's almost like you get surprised. Like it's, woo, it's really good. Yes! So we're getting a repetitive riff that she's doing. The first one, she flips and she kind of does her yodeling thing. Uh, she goes, e here. And then she kind of um, 
transitions back into her chest voice, but the other two are completely chest voice. And I think that there's a little trill in there. <laughs> But that's the actual speed. And throughout this entire time, her vibrato is just fluttering and present. Just a wonderful instrument and a wonderful use of her instrument. Okay, here's the run. And not that, that one's actually in the recording, but she always does it just amazingly. In fact, that's kind of a Vloth moment. Jeez. I think one thing that people don't really notice is that there are extra, there's another trill that is in the middle of that run. We got the, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And now we have some more alterations. Oh, I care. And then she's singing around the chord. She's not singing the melody. She comes around the chord and comes from the bottom end. One thing that I love about this part of the song is that is the layering, the layering. Um, there's a wonderful video from Full Sail University, uh, Beyonce's producer or her mixer, I can't remember which of the two it is. I think it's her recording engineer. He shows the actual session where her vocals are and you can hear these in like full effect. The mixing for Coachella was absolutely amazing as well. So you could hear these background harmonies like right in your ear. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was wonderful. She's really staying more to the record now, but it's still sung amazingly. Yeah. Yeah, keep on. And she goes right into the next part. Okay, now I think the one thing to notice about this um, guitar solo that she is um, doing a vocal lease on is that when she goes up to the B5, um, the really high note, she actually sings it on do. And me, in my head, I'm trying to think, why would she switch to a do? It was connected in the record. Why would she switch to a do? I personally think that the do is giving her a little bit more um, more of an onset or like uh, kind of like when you are trying to do a backflip. Not everybody does backflips. But, but when you need to do um, a backflip and you run for momentum, consonants can work like that where they can get you to the, um, basically to the pitch a lot easier than just singing it um, in a run. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Instead of who, uh, who, 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 who. My theory also is that the B5 is at the higher part of her range, and so she needed also a little bit of help to start that note in pitch. I think if she did the run, she might have risked going a little flat, and so she added the D. But that's just my theory. You can tell me what you think in the comments. Do, do, see? Yeah. Yeah. My fight. Yeah. Mm hmm. Whoa. It was a little churchy, too. That was very churchy. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Baby. Now, one thing that's amazing, and it's uh, a signal that Beyonce is a good harmonizer. We already know that Beyonce is a good harmonizer. Right before the end of the song, um, we know that the the melody for this la la part uh, that's in the end of the song is a uh, la 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 la. But she decides I'm gonna choose a different part of the harmony, and I'm gonna sing that to end. And she sings la 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 la. It, no, it shows um, a little bit of what I would want to say even going into the end of this video. Beyonce has 
immense musical awareness. She knows, um, even though she may not be able to identify all of the chords that, that are in her songs, she knows what's happening. She's internalized it, and so she's able to uh, respond and interact with the music as it's going along. And that's the heart of improvisation, and ultimately that's the heart of musicality in general. You want to be aware of what's passing. You don't want to uh, just allow chords to just go over your head and you're just stuck on the melody. Beyonce is free to move around like many other singers, um, but she's she's able to move around the chords. And so it makes for a more interesting experience. Listen. Yes, you better make your choice. Make your choice. Woo! Second. What I need for you to do is join the conversation in the comments. Discuss, discuss, discuss. What did you like about her singing I Care? And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe because this is the place where we think deeply to create art that changes the world. I'm O'Neal Gerald, and I'll see you all later. Bye, everyone. La 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 la